Hello, and now I'm playing Knights of Azure 2, Bride of the New Moon, on the PS4. Yeah, for a Koei Tecmo game, uh, it doesn't play like one. You don't have the punch of your swings like you expect in other Koei Tecmo games. So you play as um, you play as a half vampire Aluche. Yeah, this game is ju just boobs and lesbian vibes. Not saying that's a bad thing, but it's just it's overwhelming to say the th to say the least, it's just, is this game meant to make me feel uncomfortable slash horny? It's just, it's making me more uncomfortable. You know, a game tries to be all sensual and ooh, it's just like, this is really uncomfortable. Look at that jiggle physics! So I'm fighting with Camilla, not Camilla, um, Roots or something. And my servant is Nero, the flaming cat. This game's fucking weird. So apparently being a half vampire gives you a time limit. And an inability to break boxes. With two voices, I think she has two personalities, like one female, one male. And you appear to be a butterfly. Blah, 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 blah. Everything is just jiggle physics. Yeah, Nero just reminds me of a mixture of Litten and, um, oh fuck, what's the, panth the Panther Guardian from, um, Cardcaptor Sakura called? Oh god, Kerberos' arrival. Happies have a real beautiful noise that comes out of them. Oh, 
Oh, very enchanting. She's so... It's so obvious that she wants the main character. But it's so... Ugh. Not as in it's wrong, but it's just so forced and obvious and it's meant to be Sundaria, or whatever they pronounce your fucking name it. She's meant to be, oh, I like it, but I'm not going to admit it because pride and all that, because I've never understood that. My own pride makes me miserable, that kind of shit. That's why I hate the concept of pride. It's just... Ugh. I say that my favourite sin in Seven Deadly Sins is Escanor. <laughs> Actually, no, it's Ban. What's this? Apparently a half vampire can't jump that high. It's kind of pathetic. Christophorus. Hey. <laughs> fish things. And I'm now going to end it here. As like I mentioned, the, the, as you saw from the combat, the attacks don't have the same punch as you would expect from a Koei Tecmo game. And it's... Ugh, it's so forced with its like sensuality and sexuality and all that. I've, I've got nothing wrong with um, main characters being lesbians, gay and all that, but it's just when it's so fucking forced that it's awkward. But yeah, that was Knights of Azure 2, Brad of the New Moon. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in my next vid.